So here's another relatively new series to our library. It's in the fiction section, and I would say it's more of a, uh, an early start chapter book. So once you've done the triangle section, which is where our early chapter books are with just a few words on the page, then you might wanna try these. This series is called Down Girl and Sit, and it's written by Lucy Nolan. Um, this particular book is called On the Road. Are you ready? Kitty's house, Down Girl's house, Sit's house. Chapter one, fastest dogs in town. Hello, my name is Down Girl. This is my neighbor, her name is Sit. We are dogs. I'm telling you that in case you might think we are squirrels. Here's how to tell the difference between dogs and squirrels. We are smarter. We are better looking. And here's the most important thing. We have cars. I go all over town in my car. I go with my master. Ruff! Ruff does most of the driving. Okay, Ruff does all the driving. Whenever he opens the door, I jump right in and I put my paws on the wheel. Down girl, he says. Ruff, I answer. Down girl, he says again. Oh, all right, fine. I let him drive. At least I'm in the car. You n you'll never see a squirrel in the car. Sit and I know all about squirrels. We spend our days chasing them from our yards. Ruff never chases squirrels, not even in a car. When Ruff drives, he stays on the road. He doesn't have very much imagination. Ruff also sits very still. He doesn't know what he's missing. I like to stick my head out the window and lean into the wind. My ears flap behind me in the breeze. I close my eyes and dream that I'm driving. Sit likes to ride in cars too. Let me tell you what happened to us last week. Sit and her master came over. They got into the car with us. Sit's master sat up front. Sit and I sat in the back. As we rolled out of the driveway, Sit said, guess what the squirrels are saying right now? Dog on, I answered. <laughs> That's our favorite joke. We hadn't gone far when I saw Here Kitty Kitty. Here Kitty Kitty is the cat that lives behind me. I don't like cats. They never stay in their own yards. They are very sneaky and they touch all my stuff. I leaned onto the front seat. I started barking at Here Kitty Kitty. Down girl, rough elbowed me and I fell off my seat. I'm sure it was an accident. I didn't want Ruff to feel bad about it, so I put my paws on the back of his seat. I kissed him. Ruff slammed on the brakes. Down, girl. He can call me all he wants, but I'm not gonna join him in the front seat. It would be rude to leave sit. Ruff sighed and started the car again. For the first time, I noticed the back of his head. His ears aren't very big. They couldn't flap in the breeze even if he wanted them to. Poor Ruff. I felt so sorry for him. I kissed him again. This time he swerved. A car with blue lights pulled up behind us. Its siren was howling. I howled along with it. The siren stopped. I kept howling just for fun. A man walked up to Ruff's window and he said something to Ruff and Ruff pointed to me. The man leaned down to look in my window. I kissed him too. The man talked to Ruff and then he walked away. I'm not sure what he said. It was probably something like, that's a fine looking and a very important dog. 
That would explain why Roof put me in the back of the car. That's where he stores all the important things. I've never ridden in the back before. There wasn't much room to move, and my ears didn't blow in the wind. It wasn't all bad, though. There was a big window and some interesting crumbs. As we went down the road, I saw all kinds of cool things. Garbage trucks, leaf piles, fire hydrants. Finally, we got to the end of our trip. It was the beach. Sit in and I love the beach. We can relax there. There are no squirrels on the beach. Roof and Sit's master unloaded some of the stuff from the back. They left Sit and me in the car while they carried their chairs to the beach. I wasn't worried. I knew Roof would be back for me. I knew Roof loved me. I knew he missed me. And more importantly, I knew he had packed donuts in one of his bags. And if he left Sit and me alone for too long, we would find them. I was too excited to look for them just yet. I crawled into the back seat to wait with Sit. Suddenly, I saw something move by the trash can. It was a cat. I jumped onto Ruff's seat. I barked at the windshield and barked again. I stood in Ruff's seat with my paws on the wheels. Sit scrambled to join me. Something clicked. Suddenly, the car moved. Ruff raced toward the car. Down, girl, he yelled through the window. Didn't he see I couldn't stop for him now? The car was rolling. I couldn't believe it. After all this time, I was finally driving. Whee! Boy, did that cat look surprised. He ran down the hill. We rolled down the hill after him. Watch out, cat. We're the fastest dogs in town. Uh-oh. The car rolled to a stop. It was stuck in the sand. Ruff rushed to our side. How sweet. Still, he should have run after the cat. That would have been more helpful. Ruff is not known for his brains. A crowd gathered around. I knew what they were thinking. They were thinking, look at those dogs. They drove that car. It's a good thing the crowd was there. Ruff would have never gotten the car out of the sand without them. Six men pushed the car back up the hill. I hung my head out the window, but my ears didn't go anywhere. The men weren't pushing the car fast enough. I traded places with Sit. I stuck my head out the window on her side of the car. Nothing. Oh well, not every moment can be packed with excitement. Besides, I still had the whole afternoon ahead of me, and maybe Ruff would let me drive home. So that was kind of a fun chapter. Do you under see sort of the misunderstanding? It's called perspective. Things are maybe a little different from our dog's perspective than it is from the people's perspective. I find myself wondering, what is Down Girl's real name? even though she thinks her name is Down Girl. Like if I say Down Girl to my dog, that's not her real name. Interesting. Okay, if you enjoyed that, come back again and we'll do another chapter.